Today on Getting Real with the Housewives, Teresa Judice reveals that she will be on Dancing with the Stars, and we caught up with her. I really want America to really get to tap into the real Teresa Judice and really get to know the real Teresa Judice and not the Teresa Judice that, you know, that everyone's trying to trigger. Plus, Candy Burris reveals why she would never join Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip and teases the upcoming Atlanta reunion. The reunion was heated. <laughs> to say the least. Plus, She by Sheree finally launches, Diana Jenkins makes a big donation, and we get our first look at Potomac. We've got that plus so much more on today's Getting Real with the Housewives. Hey guys, Christina Garibaldi here, and welcome to Getting Real with the Housewives. I'm riding solo today, but we got so much to get to. But before we get into the news, we want to check in to see what you guys have to say about last week's show. So Chrissy says, Beverly Hills needs new blood. The dynamics right now are toxic. Lisa needs to be put on pause. Well, I'm sure after this week's episode of Beverly Hills, you probably agree that Erica Jane does as well. We'll get into that later. But Denise says, Kyle is a joke too. Why doesn't anyone ever ask her about what's going on in her life in the real world all she ever does is stirs the pot then has this little smirk on her face a lot of people not liking this new not liking this cast of beverly hills this season definitely need a change up and i'm sure after last night like i said i have to agree all right let's get into the news of the week and Teresa judice has joined dancing with the stars with her with her partner pasha now we caught up with her and here's what she had to say about the upcoming competition um, I'm pretty much an open book. I think you got, you know, guys know me from Rehouse in New Jersey. I literally, literally put it all out there. So yeah, I mean, I'm not, you know, I want to, you know, hopefully I gain, you know, like a huger fan base. And I really want America to really get to tap into the real Teresa Judice and really get to know the real Teresa Judice and not the Teresa Judice that, you know, that everyone's trying to trigger and you know because I do have that Italian temper but um I've been working on myself you guys will see next season um so I'm proud of myself and thanks to my amazing husband that he helped me to get this way you know like he he's a he's like really you know calms me down and keeps me very zen very namaste so yes <laughs> I, I, need, I needed that in my life. See, God was looking out for me. He's totally my soulmate. Cannot wait to see Teresa on the dance floor. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Now, so excited about this one because get ready. Potomac is back and we got our first look at the upcoming season. And oof, it is fierce. Take a look. You and Michael are getting a divorce. We are. I am elated in a place that excludes her crusty ass grabbing husband. What is this activity on social media? I'm sick, I'm not sick. You think I was doing it for attention? I didn't you. Yeah, it seems like a lot of uh, infidelity, Ashley talking about her divorce. I mean, there's definitely going to be intense, intense drama. And I know a lot of our viewers, a lot of people think that Potomac is their absolute favorite. They love Potomac. So it's been a while and we're happy it's back in mid-October. Okay, so let's talk about this. Diana Jenkins announced that she donated $100,000 to family members of the victims involved in the 2018 Lion Air 610 plane crash. Now, she hinted that her decision came after her co-star Erica Jane was named in a fraud lawsuit connected to the accident. She said, I was not aware of this tragedy until it became a topic of conversation on Beverly Hills. I feel so much sympathy for the widows and orphans left behind. I know firsthand the pain and suffering that accompanies the loss of a family member, having lost my brother in the closing days of the Bosnian war. I want to do what I can to support those people who suffered so much. Definitely a nice gesture that she donated $100,000, considering the fact that Erica doesn't want to give up her $750,000 earrings. A lot of people had mixed feelings about this on social media. People were saying, yes, this was a lovely thing for her to do. A lot of people were saying that the timing was, um, of course, a little suspicious because this all came out to light on Beverly Hills this week. I would love to know what everybody thinks in the comments. Do you think that this was a genuine move? Um, and just want to know your thoughts. All right. Well, this was a big moment on Atlanta because she by Sheree, we finally got a fashion show with fashion. Now, a lot of her, um, her co-stars went 
were in attendance. They watched from their seats. Fans applauded her efforts on social media. But the praise was short-lived because a lot of people were accusing her brand of copying designs from both Shein and Amazon. A social media user tweeted, she by somebody else, sharing a side-by-side -side photo of Whitfield in a gray workout set and a photo of a model in a similar look on Amazon. A second person wrote, more like copyright infringement by Sheree. It, now it took 14, it, it took 14 years to decide to steal someone else's designs. Yikes. Now, uh, Sheree has yet to comment on this, but obviously this has been 14 years in the making, a lot of back and forth, and there was a lot of drama even leading up to this episode because the designs still weren't in place. It was kind of a last minute thing, but it got off the ground. So I don't know, a lot of people, a lot of people noticed that this was, uh, maybe taking some inspiration from other places, but we'll have to wait and see what, to see what she has to say. So this was interesting. Garcelle was spotted filming with Lisa Vanderpump, but it may be about her son. So Oliver Sanders, the eldest son of Garcelle, has been accused of infidelity after nearly two years of marriage. Now, as a strange white Samantha Sanders, who he wed uh, in May of 2020, alleged that Oliver cheated on her with multiple women throughout their marriage, and she shared, she shared some receipts. So she wrote, I have been told to stay silent, um, Oliver has started working at Vanderpump Paris. He works at um, Lisa's restaurant in Las Vegas. And she said, he has disrespected me and my kids in every possible way. He has made jokes about my mental health and suicidal thoughts with coworkers. He has committed adultery with coworkers and guests of the restaurant. Now they share a two-year-old son. And she further claimed that Oliver made out with Raquel from Vanderpump while filming a scene on Vanderpump Rules, noting that the pair planned to go on a date on camera. She claimed that, Samantha claimed, by the way, Oliver is a guest on Vanderpump Rules. He's not paid. He's cheating publicly with Raquel on camera, only for fame, no bag, not worth losing your family over this. Now, Oliver, for his part, confirmed on Friday that he and Samantha had split, saying, I apologize for my son's mother putting my business out there. We are getting divorced. Messy, messy, messy. It seems like another storyline that is going to emerge on this season of Vanderpump Rules. Obviously, Raquel has been a little busy. She just had hooked up with Tom Schwartz, who um, was who is getting a divorce from Katie, now hooking up with Oliver, who's getting divorced from his wife. It seems like a very messy situation, but interesting that definitely Garcelle was filming with Lisa Vanderpump. I mean, would love to see. I'd love to know if you guys would want Lisa back on Housewives, considering um, so much is going on this season. All right, well, let's get into our real talk. And we recently caught up with Candy Burris, who told us why she would never do Ultimate Girls Trip and teases the upcoming Atlanta reunion. Take a look. What was the reunion like? If you could, I know you can't give us too much. The reunion, it was heated, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Um, it was really cool. I, for one, was shocked by the seating arrangement right off rip. Okay. What, what, why so? Well, because some people who didn't necessarily get along or didn't get along throughout the season, even now, were next to each other. And I was like, this is not good. <laughs> who came up with this? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, who thought that was a good idea? I'm, yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, so that was one reason that like threw me off even from the first step out to mm -hmm. the stage. Yeah. And then um, obviously people really got some things off of their chest. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it's a good reunion. I'm sure. What did you kind of want to get off your chest when you went in there? Did you have like something that you really had like an agenda going in there at all? <sighs> Well, I never pre-plan mm -hmm. anything. I know some of the girls are already set. They got their scripts. They know what they want to say. Uh, for me, I just already knew that I was definitely going to be addressing the Marlo situation mm -hmm. head on. And I was ready for all the smoke. Whoever wanted to bring it, I was ready to give it to them. <laughs> Are you and, and Marlo good now? I know we, we didn't see you guys make amends, you know, over KFC, but is, is it that, that uh, wasn't a, an that apology. That was short-lived. <laughs> it was short-lived. Yeah. It was short-lived because basically, um, like I said, we, you know, we did, you, you saw us, we, well, they told the story of how we kind of became 
back on speaking terms after the fried, the Kentucky fried chicken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that. In Jamaica, the KFC was pretty good. So, I mean, food always can heal with the food for the soul. You know, that's what they say and kind of heal, heals all wounds for a second. But uh, yeah, after that, I think when the show aired and I started seeing some of the other things that were said and done, I just was kind of like, yeah. I'm good on her. Yeah, good on that. No, were you, um, you know, were you surprised at how things went down with her in Jamaica? You know, the, the kind of back and forth oh, between the two of you. What? Yes. I mean, overall, I kind of felt like, okay, girl, um, she tried it. That's how I felt. And then we were going back and forth and the argument really went out of hand. Um you know, I, the thing I didn't expect was like how low she went towards Todd and the disrespect that she was throwing his way, because I'm like, now, any other time if we're out and about, she wants to hang out like Todd is her boy. That's her homie. And then it's like you go straight for him. You know what I mean? Like she it's not like she's going at me saying crazy things about me. She immediately starts talking crazy about my husband and it's really because she knows that's something that is gonna set me off or whatever Mm -hmm. but at the same time it's just kind of like you know now you've killed another you know cool relationship that you had you know just because you're just disrespectful what do you make of everything going on with Garcelle and her son? I don't know if you've been following how, you know, Bravo released a statement about, you know. That was crazy. Yeah. I didn't really know what happened until I heard that, you know, Bravo had released a yeah. statement. And then, um, so of course, you know, that made me want to investigate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, one of our fan pages had also posted some information where a gentleman basically was saying that he was paid to, you send bots to her page. And I just thought that was horrible. So I did reach out to Garcelle and um, I was just um, basically letting her know, like, I don't know if you saw this information, but you should know what's going on um, because it's just people go too far on this show. It's- I mean, it's happened on our show as well. Like people go too far and I'm like, you have to understand guys, like it is not that deep. <laughs> right. It's not that deep. Like I know we argue back and forth, you know, we have our dramas or whatever, but sometimes like these ladies really just go too far. Having that happen and people start attacking the social media pages for our at, at one of our children is that's, that's terrible. I'm, I'm just glad that Garcelle is a lady. She's yes. sister, you know what I mean? Because me, I am not. Seriously, I would not be acting, I would not be acting like that either. She <laughs> Yes, like honey, oh, it's war now. Like seriously. I didn't, I didn't even know you could do that. Like I didn't either. even know that you could pay a company to send bots to somebody's page. I'm like, this is new. Insane. You guys are really going all out for your drama, okay? Seriously. Was Garcelle okay though? She was she's, you know, like you said, she's she was definitely um, shocked, appalled, and just, you know, just just disappointed and basically saying the same thing that I'm saying is that it's never that serious. Yeah. Like, it's not that deep. Why would someone do, you know, I, I mean, from, from her point, you know, like, why would somebody do that to her, you know, for the sake of, you know, this drama that we have on this TV show, basically? Right. It's like, girl, bye. So excited about this reunion. It was a great season. A lot of people had mixed reactions to the season because I felt like it took a little while for Atlanta to kind of, for this group to gel. But I definitely feel like they had, like we said before, it ended with a bang with She by Sheree. We got Tyrone in the mix and she went off, or I'm sorry, Lyrone. And she just went off on him. But it was good to see her kind of get this off the ground. Um, 14 years in the making. It's... um, it's been, a, it's been a while, but she pulled it off. So excited to see what happens with her next. But let's get into Beverly Hills because there is so much to talk about. I mean, Erica just went off the rails. I'd love to know what you guys had to say about this in the comments. You know, she basically said that she doesn't really feel for the victims. She, um, you know, that she is a victim herself. She has no plans on giving these earrings, which are, she said, estimated to be $1.3 million. And that can definitely change a lot of people's lives. 
definitely help in the situation. And, you know, basically saying that she doesn't even know if some of this money was stolen, just some of the things that were coming out of her mouth, it was just mind blowing. And, you know, you see Lisa, Dorit, everybody trying to shuffle her out of there. And even the teases for the next episode, it seems like she's still going on about this. And what surprises me a lot too, is that Dorit kind of is a defending her, which I mean, I don't, I don't really know how you can defend these actions. At least Kyle said something and was like, I can't stand behind this. Um, another interesting part in the teaser coming up for next week, we find out why Kathy is, kind of, you know, Kathy is going to go off the rails and it's all about tequila and Kendall Jenner getting involved in this Beverly Hills drama. So we'll have to see what happens there. Um, you know, the Aspen trip is definitely living up to the hype. It is going to be um, very, very interesting to see how this plays out. And then we got our final episode of the Dubai reunion. Everybody ended up on a good note. Chanel and Caroline hugged it out. Um, Sarah surprised Brooks with a trip to the Maldives. I wish I had friends like that, but it seems like everything kind of, you know, wrapped up in a nice little bow. I, I, Chanel, you know, obviously opened up about her past and how painful that was, um, you know, and it seems like everybody came to a really good resolution and it was a great season. I'm excited to see what happens next. You know, a lot of people were saying, should this be on Bravo? Should this be on Peacock? I guess we're going to have to wait and see, but over Overall, a really great season, and we're happy that Dubai is part of the Housewives franchise. All right, well, that is it for this week's episode of Getting Real with the Housewives. Please, we'd love to see your comments, so keep commenting, keep subscribing, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. For more news, content, and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below, and visit usmagazine.com.